Right, hello again. I've uh, had a cup of tea and a bit of a relax, so now it's time to make my next video um, section. So basically, some protection is better than no protection. It's um, never going to be perfect. It, it really does depend on the type that you want to use. Best really to get an entity down and, and, and put a barrier up around the house. Uh, it kind of sort of acts like the same as what Shage does and using candles and things like that. About them obviously it's free. You know, they they come and they come down and refresh the barrier and and what when it needs to be refreshed. So there's no hassle. Obviously, you can use you can use sage and what if you like it. You know, makes the makes the candles especially make the place feel a little bit homely. You know what I mean? It's um, kind of depends on what you the, the way you want to do it. But there there, there is no beat in the, uh, the 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 barrier that they put up. To be fair, it just keeps everything out. Um, there's no ifs, no buts, no no messing around. The, the only times I've had stuff come in and attack me is when um, we've had guys that haven't been playing by the rules and letting stuff in the house. Um, and then obviously they, they kind of got dealt with. But <coughs> and then you've got personal protection. So obviously when you leave the house or you go out of body like I do, um, you're going to stick out like a sore thumb if you use nothing. And everybody's thoughts. If you're very empathic, you're um, you're going to be picking up on everything. It's going to give you headaches, make you feel crap. You know, you'll pick on up on other people's emotions and that kind of stuff. So, in that sense, personal protection is a must as well. So, basically, in the mornings, what I do is I imagine like a, a net coming down over me with a cord at the bottom. And that goes down to earth. What that does is that earths any energy that I'll get sent at like from attacks. There's something that's trying to attack you. Like um being shot with energy bolts and all sorts. It just earths it out, so that kinda of, that kinda of stops that. Um so after the net I then put armour on. Kind of varies depending on how I how I feel. You know, like um Iron Man suit for example or knight's armour, it can be like um, a big cloak, anything you you know you can visualise well. Um, they won't completely stop attacks uh, but they do really well in kind of dampening the effects. It's like I kind of always say, there's no stopping it. If something wants to attack you it's going to attack you but it's it's a lot better to have some protection and feel the effects less than to have no protection and to be stabbed through the stomach. You know, I've, you know, b before I was doing um, all the protection and that lot, and I had me Reiki and, and and that. I had um, an entity under my bed it, it, and it stabbed me through the out through the chest. Um, you got to feel like a like a sword coming out, and um, it was very unpleasant to say the least. Um, attacks from since then and not been doing me protection they're not as bad as way way not as bad as that you kind of it kind of feels like a, a like a, a, a very uncomfortable feeling when they're when they're trying those those kind of actions against you um you really well if you're only just beginning you won't attract anything like that um they were they were doing that because they didn't like me um sending stuff back to the light and and Things like that, you know, being being a goody goody, to be <laughs> to be fair. Um, so yeah, armor after the um, after the lot of the netting, and then after the armor, I I put like I, like I can imagine a bubble round, um, satin co in color. Um, what that will do is, if you imagine it to be satin, it will mask your energy. So when you go out and about, they'll find it very difficult to spot how bright you are. Um, that will stop undue attention. 
um, which obviously is a good thing. Prevention's better in the long run. Um, it will stop just random stuff seeing you and thinking, oh, they can they can help me out, or oh, they can they're this that. Um, we'll, we'll follow them home and see what they do. So a satin bubble um, that will also all the feelings um, and sludge. I say sludge. Um, like negative thoughts from people, um, all that kind of stuff, that will then kind of go around the bubble instead of as being in you. So you you feel yourself, you you'll feel fine, kind of thing. You won't pick it up, up all that crap so easy. Um, and then on on top of the satin bubble, after that I do a mirror, so like a mirror bubble as well. So if something then spots your brightness. It is possible through the satin one, it's just very, very, very dims it down a bit. So if, if something was just to then look at you and you've got the mirror on top, all they're going to see is their own reflection. So then that's just really confusing to them. So you're not, you're not only masking the, the light output you're giving, you're also masking what they can see when they look at you. So that's, um, I find that those four are really all you need. Um, you can get, you know, like crystals and jewellery and, and um, pendulums and, uh, you know, like tumble stones, uh, tiger's eye, like reflecting um, energy that's shot at you and things like that. And you've got obviously the pyrite, big chunk of pyrite. Uh, it's, it's quite good in your house. But again, this kind of stuff, it, it doesn't matter when you're at home as long as you've got the barrier up. If they put the barrier up, ain't nothing getting through that unless you know someone's acting up and they let it in to be honest um, so crystals yeah you can go and you can put them in your house and whatever it's, it's all they're all nice to look at and and whatnot but it, it's not gonna it's not you're not gonna get, get any benefit really from it if you've once you've got that barrier set up um, so yeah that's that's my procedure in the morning and not I've started but well I've been told I've got to do that at night now as well so I've been doing that during the day, during the night, during the morning, during the night. Once you get used to it, it takes me like five minutes. You know, you, you wake up, you do it. You go to bed, you do it. It's it's, it's as simple as that. You, you you know, there's no um, big plaver or hoop plaver or, or going around all these separate rooms like dishing out holy water or any of that stuff. You really don't need to do anything kind of like that. Waste of time, you know. It really does. This is when I'm kind of encroaching on people's beliefs now, and um, I'm afraid that might happen more and more in the future. Uh, but you know, you've got to crush some eggs if you're going to make omelets. So as they say, so you, you kind of got to learn, learn this way somewhere or another. So do the barriers and the bubbles, um, kind of pose well then um, because of it you're still going to like attract like thoughts that people have had towards you say you pull out in front of somebody or whatever and they've been or that person's pulled out in front of me and they get angry at you you're going to feel that energy um, the best thing to do to clear all that is when you have your shower in the morning or in the evening or whatever um, just ask the, ask the water to wash all the energy that you've attracted that's not for your highest good away just just wash it all away and then kind of visualize it come like coming down and then going down the plug hole going back to wherever it came from and thank it for leaving you um, and at the same time you can ask for all the all the energy that you've sent out that should be part of you ask for that to come back so you see this cycle of your energy coming out of the shower head for example and then it all kind of washing off and then washing away again it's like a 30 to 60 second process and then that, that clears it all and then you'll get out and you'll, you'll feel all vitalized and 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 whatnot it's um it's quite good if you've got if you've had your reiki too because you you can put reiki symbols on the on the shower head and then have like a have like a reiki shower as well um again it's nice and revitalizing it it keeps you keeps you all clear um and uh, negative cords or cords, attachments, whatever, not really part of protection, 
but you might be you might be wise to check every now and again if you're sensitive you'll feel them if um, you like me and, you, and you're not kind of really in, in that kind of, not kind of developed in that area that much you can just ask your guides if you've got any cords and then you can just imagine the, the cord and then just chopping them or you can ask your guides to clear them um, it's, it's a good idea to imagine this kind of stuff and, and, and get it in your head because you'll you, you, you'll find that you're going from an imagining to it actually being there you, there'll be a point where it kind of crosses over so you're not imagining stuff anymore it's, it's, it is the way it is the way you, it just comes to you so that's a good that's a good um, good thing to do as well uh, if you're feeling very imaginative you can create with your mind a, look a little defender so it, with the barriers and all your shielding and your bubbles and all that it's not really necessary but if you find someone's being attacked a lot um, you can create like a little entity to um, help defend them off again this is encroaching on in the beliefs department but you, you've, sometimes these things are you've, you've, they've got to be said and, and acknowledged to then you can ask the questions you can learn it's the same as how demons and things like that they're, they're, they don't, they, they're, they're not real um, they're, they're thoughts created by man or woman as it may be um, into creating these things they're just made from energy they're, they're not sentient they're insentient so you can create an, an insentient goody goody if, <laughs> if you like like just something to help defend you like um, like a knight in block with a sword or or um, Luke Skywalker with with lasers or my personal favorite was like Ed 209 out of Robocop um, to, just to create and then that will help then defend the, the, the person that's getting attacked a lot from other energies and entities it's you know it, it's um, it's quite an imaginative way of doing things but it's um, it, it certainly works <laughs> so um, to move on from there I, I read after that first attack I read a book The Art of Psychic Protection by Judy Hall very good so quite quite informative and, and a lot of what I I picked up from was from this um, again with every every book that I read I kind of I kind of go through it take in what what kind of suits my belief because I mean everybody has beliefs to kind of what suits from my understanding of the way it is speak to the guides and and kind of find out what, what, what's kind of true from what's not it's like um, removing entities from a house using sage no it's not going to work um, all you're going to do if it's if it's particularly negative you're just going to peer it off you'll really 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 peer it off if it's an entity that is light and just wants to go back to the light it's just going to it's just going to do nothing it's still going to be in the house um, the only time that will actually work is if the haunting is like a um, like a recording you get some hauntings that are a recording of an entity going over the same actions over and over and over again and the space itself the energy inside the place itself remembers those actions and then it replays them because what doing the, the sage and all that a lot does um, and, in, and in some instances crystals is it kind of resets the energy so because you've reset the energy it's no longer playing the loop anymore that's that's the times where it'll work but again you can you can clear energy using your mind so it's neither here nor there but as for energies that want to go back to the light insentient energies or energies that are sentient and don't want to go back to the light it's uh, none of no protection is going to work because that's not how you deal with the problem um, so that's that's all i've kind of got to say about the protection at the minute um, what i'll do is i'll probably go over how to send energies up to the light or remove um, insentient energies tomorrow uh, <clears throat> the trouble is now we're going to start encroaching on what people believe to be true like um you've got to get the church involved to remove stuff that kind of thing you don't you know we're all copies of god um we've got all the power that he has we just haven't got his vastness of energy you know 
and, and that's that's where we're going to come on with um, against some beliefs but that's really a conversation for the next video so I shall leave you there with that um, I hope I've given you some stuff to think about and I'll say see you later